This piece right here, if you if you remember the song, mm -hmm. will the circle be unbroken by and by long, by and by, by and by long, by and by. But see, it's not that I'm talking about a circle with you, or a circle with my friend, or a circle that humans have to bind together. I'm talking about a universal circle. I'm talking about a place that has to have a atmosphere around this place here where we are all contained, and this being the earth. And within the circle of the earth, it's got, it's got its own thing happening. Say the inner core of the earth. Have we did so much drilling and digging that we've left all these holes? Wouldn't that us breaking up our circular protection from this, you see what I'm talking about? So the whole thing is, haven't we been going out of space? Didn't we burst through that? Now this other planet may just not be balanced just right because of the break. You see? Some of my works of art, even though they're beautiful, leave, leave it alone, Lonnie Harley. Don't say nothing about it. Just let them conceive their own thoughts about it. Did you, is this just balanced? That's just balanced stuff? Yeah. yeah. And did you put the, I put that up there. Did you put the bead up? Did you no, 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 that was already there. That? that was already there. That was already there. You see? But I think I want to move that because that's teeny, teeny, weeny balance. Yeah. And I want to put that back in there. Yeah, I'm sure now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I be want to be sure. You see what I'm saying? But the whole thing about that and a piece like this right here, you got five minutes, okay? <laughs> a piece like this one right here, uh, before my time. Look at that beautiful thing. It looks like some kind of man-made monster. It looks like some kind of bird trying to eat it there. It looked like something tempted the bird and got so close to his mouth and you ever saw down underneath the ocean and stuff like that, something just lay with a pose and just wait till something get in their mouth. Then it's gone. Look at the horn. It looks like what? A scorpion tip. It also looked like a rhino's horn. Uh, when I was coming up, they had a movie called uh, a Sinbad. It looked like the one-eyed cyclop to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's things like that. So something like with newborn, did you find this shape as is, or did you they take found it? found the shape as it is. You did. So that's what all the thing all I did was pose. Everything was uh, uh, as is, like this one here, or did you cut that? Uh, no, I just added her head on it. I added the mother dinosaur head on that adventure piece. Okay, but the, the core of it was as was well, all already as is. Okay, so had already cut those pieces out. Yeah. Jesus. No, well, he cut it here for me, and he cut it loose from a bigger piece. Okay, but this was cut out. Yeah, all that. That's the negative space of whatever they were using this material for. And you see what it say? It say baby down. Because the baby dinosaur head got down and trapped, and the mother down, you know what I'm saying? She just went crazy. There's a concept. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Look at this one. This one here, it's, it's about... It's a cobra, see what I'm saying? Watch shape. it. Right you see what I'm saying? Isn't it beautiful? But one string of their material could show, you know, it's not, it's not about, it's, it's, it's look at this one, it's called balling. You can see, the, the, you can see this, the William sisters and the tennis ball concept. Uh, you can see the baseball player playing ball in there. You can see a football player just throwing and being tackled. You see what I'm saying? So that's balling. More is golf ball or Tiger Woods hitting his golf ball or something like that. You got to look and conceive. A lot of times people look at a piece of art, but they don't really see what the artist is trying to do in the abstract. That's more of an abstract piece. But it's got beauty. Now this one is more laid out and brought out to you. You see what I'm saying? But that, that's what, a bird. And, and it's beautiful because you see the bird, but you see that what my concept was when I first made this piece is that this bird wing 
has been bruised. Yeah. But when I put this piece together like this, maybe somebody wouldn't have seen the sense in it without me putting this piece of wire in there. See, to take that away, I'm taking away the ism of it. I'm taking away the schism of that. This become the schism because I put that around the duck's neck and I wrap it around and then I wrap it around his feet. Now you can see the duck struggling or getting cut by this white thing that us humans have just thrown to the, the riverside or the ocean side, you see. So I'm trying to make pieces uh, talk or speak or, or, or pronounce their ability or the material. Look at ugly. Isn't that beautiful? It's like an ugly lizard trying to run out of the way of this one. You see, it's just like an ugly lizard trying to eat them. Been up in New York and going up and down the drains, and every time somebody see him, they try to step on him, and he just, you know, get bruised or something. So it's the, it's, it's like you're seeing these things. We got so much going on inside of us. But when we try to express or tell somebody about the beauty, you see. But I thank you all for taking the time. I know, I know you all got other places to go and well, somewhere to go. Is there more pieces upstairs? You want to run upstairs right here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know you didn't want to miss upstairs.